Welcome back, Pipers. Hopton Piper Kevin here, coming to you from the Arkansas River Valley in America. Let's share a bowl together today. I've got some Wessex Burley Slice in my Rossi Vittoria 8320. I really like this pipe, especially for the money very good choice. Did a video a while back on the best pipes in like the 10, 15, 30, 50 dollar ranges. This one may have made that list so you'll have to have to go check that out if you haven't already. But it's starting to warm up a little bit getting some green on the trees so that's good. So let's share a bowl today. I think this will be a good choice for today. I really enjoy Wessex Burley Slice when I'm in the mood for a good burly flake. And I've done a review on that if you're interested. But tell me what you're smoking today and what you're smoking it in. That's part of the fun. I enjoy reading all those comments. I really do. And I do read them all. But this Smoke With Me series is really just a, a time to sit together and relax and hopefully unwind. Hopefully you find it very relaxing. We can just chat about something pipe related. And today, I think I'm going to talk to you about some of my advice when it comes to how to choose the right pipe blend for you. Really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe and I'm also on Instagram now. So if you'd like to join me there, love to have you follow me there as well. How to choose the right pipe blend for you. I get asked a lot. Kevin, how do I know what pipe blend to buy? What's the best pipe blend? <laughs> and while I understand the question, especially from a, a new pipe smoker's perspective, that's an impossible question to answer because your favorite pipe blend is going to be very personal. It's going to be very personal to you and your preferences and your palate. There are literally hundreds of pipe blends out there. And some get more attention than others. And I remember very well being in that aggressive discovery phase, I call it. Where as a new pipe smoker, you begin to, to see all the options out there and you're like, I want to try all those. <laughs> so how do you really decide? How do you decide where to even start? It can be very overwhelming. So all I can do is tell you what I did and what worked for me. And you can take that advice for what it's worth. <laughs> Oftentimes you'll start out maybe at a local shop when you buy your first pipe and they will either give you a sample of something or recommend a particular blend for you. 
We talked about that a little bit in the last Smoke With Me video, how oftentimes you'll be recommended a, an aromatic or something mild. But regardless, at some point, you are going to, if you're here on YouTube, <laughs> be exposed to a lot of blends that are out there for potential purchase. So where do you start? How do you even begin to figure out what the right pipe blends are gonna be for you? So let's talk about that, because I think it's important, and I think I can help save you a lot of money. <laughs> Because a lot of times what people will do is they will latch on to one of the first couple of blends that they try that's not giving them a lot of tongue bite or that, you know, they can get flavor from. And they just buy a ton of it. Like they may go and buy a pound or more of a blend that they really have only smoked a few times. Now, if you have a lot of disposable income, that's fine. You can always store tobacco, and I've given you a very detailed two-part series on how to sell or pipe tobacco, but um, do you really want a lot of pipe tobacco cellared that you may or may not like in the future? So that's what you're kind of trying to prevent, is spending a lot of unnecessary money on blends that, if you've just given it a little more time, you might have fallen out of, the, out of love with those blends, or you might have found other blends that you like even more that you wish you had invested your money in. So what I suggest is to just buy a little bit of as many blends as you want. I normally, when I was starting out, only bought single tens of blends. So if I wanted to try Peterson Nightcap, then I would buy one ten of it. If I wanted to try Orlick Golden Slice, then I'd buy one ten of it. And when I made an order, either at the shop or online, I would just buy single tens of things to try. And then what I did is I bought a bunch of little eight ounce ball jars so that if I did not smoke the whole ten, um, or I thought maybe that blend might improve with some age and I come back and revisit it later. You never know when your tastes are going to change. So just because you don't like it day one doesn't mean you won't like it day 991. <laughs> so I would store it properly in a properly labeled, dated ball jar. A lot of people have asked me where to get these little squat-sized eight ounce ball jars and I can't find them anymore. I don't know if they were discontinued. I used to just get them at Walmart or Target, but I haven't been able to find them anymore. Sometimes you'll find them at eBay or Amazon for elevated prices, but anyway, they don't have to be these squat size. You can always get any little eight ounce ball jar. Now, I usually get the wide mouth because I make labels. Got a video on how to make custom labels like this. and. With these labels, they'll they'll just all fit on wide mouth size jars. So whatever jar I do get, I make sure it's a wide mouth. But that's just what I do. Anyway, I recommend just getting a little bit of several different blends to try, if that's what you want to do. Now, some people just find a single blend, like Prince Albert, smoke it the rest of their life, and that's all they buy. And that's that's the way it used to be. Uh, the old the old codgers, we call them. Uh, the old timers, they would usually find a favorite and they would just buy that favorite and find their one pipe that, that they liked and that's what they would do. Today's pipe smoke community is a little bit different. Where for the for many of us, uh, we like to try all these different premium blends and all these different premium pipes. So, buy a little bit of different things. And I would encourage you, for those that you think you're connecting with and really enjoying, 
Smoke the whole tin. Don't just make a decision off of a couple bowls. Really get to know that blend. Sit with it. Smoke it in different pipes if you have them. Smoke it at different times of the day. Smoke it after you drink certain drinks or with certain drinks. Smoke it after you eat certain things. All these experiences, the weather outside, everything's going to affect the experience. There are seemingly infinite variables in the art of pipe smoking. And a favorite blend for you or a blend that you're going to really want to invest in, you may want it to be pretty consistent across many variable scenarios. <laughs> I know that Orwick Golden Slice, for example, is one of those blends where it doesn't really seem to matter what the season, time of day, what I ate, what I'm drinking. It's just always great to me. And that's just me. But you will find blends like that. And then you'll find blends that are just based on your mood and maybe based on season or based on time of day um, that you enjoy in that moment. And you'll figure all that out. But the way you're going to find the best pipe blends for you is, I believe, to, to buy a little bit of everything. Don't spend too much on any one blend yet. Try some things. Smoke through a tin. Do I want another tin? Am I going to miss that? If so, maybe you're onto something. Yeah, I think I want that. I think I want another tin of that. And then after you do that a few times, you may realize, I don't ever want to be without this blend. I always want to have this blend on hand. And we have seen many, many blends over the years disappear, be discontinued, no longer be in production. And I have heard many a pipe smoker reminisce almost with tears <laughs> about how they can't get certain blends anymore. And that's when you have to start deciding do I now want to what we call deep cellar a particular blend? And that's expensive to buy a lot of tins and store them properly. Um, it takes time and effort and money to do that. It's not something that you have to do, but if, if you reach a point where you realize, I'd be really sad if I didn't have this particular blend anymore, then you might want to consider it. You might want to consider going ahead and stocking up. And storing that blend properly. Sometimes if you start to experience a little moisture, in your pipe and if your pipe can pass a pipe cleaner you can just do that right as you're smoking get a little bit of that out and you'll be good to continue I get a lot of questions from new pipe smokers and I really enjoy that that's it's a good service to the community, I think, for content creators to help new pipe smokers get going and, and start to enjoy it. Because that first year especially can be really tough. It can be really tough to figure out how to do this and how to enjoy it. So I encourage, you're, you're never bothering me if you ask me questions. Ask me questions in the comments. Send me emails, it's okay. I may not respond immediately, but as I have time and see them, I'll, I'll respond to you as long as I can tell it was a question done in good taste and and that you're you're seriously interested then I will I will respond so ask me your questions I'm happy to help and if I don't know the answer I know people who do <laughs> I have a very good network now of very 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 experienced pipe smokers that I ask questions to myself often and and pick their brains often so I can get you the answer one way or another <laughs> that answer may be a, a collection of opinions <laughs> but I can get you an answer of some kind I 
I encourage you while you're while you're smoking your pipe to, to really try to slow down. I know a lot of the questions I get, it's pretty evident that, that people just are going too fast. You're just they're just puffing too fast and they're going too hard. Going too hard in the paint, as they used to say in basketball. So just slow down. Slow down. Sip your pipe. Learn to sip your pipe. Relight is necessary. Man, that's one of the... I've said this many times before. That's one of the, the big early lessons that you need to grasp onto. You don't have to keep this pipe lit. You, it is not a competition to see if you can smoke it from start to finish without a relight. I don't know where that idea came from. But that is not in my world. It's not in the world of any of the experienced pipers that I know. Relax. Relight as necessary. This isn't a race. If you are doing anything in a hurry when it comes to pipe smoking, you need to reevaluate how you're approaching this, in my opinion. Slow down. Relax. If we aren't relaxing, why are we doing this? Relax. Getting too windy to use that one. I've got other tools in my arsenal, though. Okay, so to recap a little bit. For those who are trying to find the right pipe blends for them, Buy a little bit of everything. Don't spend too much on any one blend yet. Give yourself time. Figure out what you like. You'll know. If you're patient, you'll know. And you'll be glad that you didn't spend hundreds of dollars on that particular blend that you just fell in love with bowl one and then realized after the, the whole 10, maybe it wasn't as great as you thought it was at first. There's another Smoke With Me video out there called, Do You Judge Blends Too Soon? That's an important one to listen to because I think we've all been guilty of that. I certainly have. Both directions where you may think, this is amazing, and you buy a bunch of it, and then very quickly you realize, it's not as amazing as I thought it was. Or you may smoke something and say, well, this is there's nothing going on here. This is boring. But then the more time you spend with it, the more you realize, oh my gosh, this is actually amazing. And I didn't, I didn't see it at first time. Time and experience. Relax. The discovery phase never really ends when it comes to blends. There are many new blends that come out blends that you just never have gotten around to. There's many, 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 many blends. As, as many as I've smoked, which is, I, I wouldn't even know how to tell you how many I've tried now, uh, but it's a lot. And there's still seemingly infinitely more that I have not tried. So this, the discovery phase never really ends. And, and new releases, like special editions come out, limited releases come out. You do have to be a little careful with those. Some of them are fantastic, and then some of them are not. <laughs> so it's a little bit, a little bit of a guessing game, a little bit of a gamble on those. Uh, but it's fun. It's fun every now and then to, to grab one of those and see what you think. There's always that, that FOMO, fear of missing out. What if it's amazing and I miss out? Because a lot of these special editions, they sell out overnight or within you know a matter of hours or certainly a matter of days so i get it i've missed out on a couple that i think man i should have i should have probably grabbed that one but every time i take a gamble on a blend i've never tried yet that's money i could have put toward my list of favorites that i would love to have the rest of my life available to me so it's all give and take it's all uh, 
Matter of choice. Decisions. And here's another last final bit of advice that I want to give you today. And that is, remember that when it comes to premium tobaccos and, and smoking those and having those available, that truly is, in my opinion, a luxury. So make sure that you're not spending money on premium high dollar tobaccos when you might need to be spending that money somewhere else in your life. Take that for what it's worth. But putting yourself into debt over pipe tobacco probably isn't the best decision, in, in my opinion. So make sure you're taking care of your family. Make sure you're taking care of, of, of your needs and your family's needs first. And, and go from there. Because you can always pick up a cob for $6 or less, <laughs> in some cases, and some inexpensive tobacco, and sit out like I am today and have just as great a time. So, be wise with your spending. And as you're looking for these blends that you want to connect with long term, be patient. It's just going to take some time. Try a lot of different things. A little bit of a, a little bit of a lot. <laughs> a little bit of many different things. And then start honing in on what you realize over time. Yes, these are the ones that are worth my money for me to sell our long term. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much to my super thanks supporters. You can read more about that in the description below. And until we talk again, go enjoy some good food, good drink, and a good pipe.